Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Coughlin Crusaders golf. Ryan Keyes joining us right now. Well, Ryan, it's been a nice career for you at Coughlin. Just seems like you're getting better and better. Uh, must be putting a lot of time in on that golf course. Uh, absolutely. I mean, during the summer, spring, I'm out there five, six days a week practicing. When I'm not practicing, I'm in my yard chipping around for fun. And I play, I mean, as much as I can. I mean, it's almost addicting. Chipping around for fun for a 30 for nine holes. Talk about that blistering uh, job you had last week. Yeah, that was just, that was crazy. I mean, <laughs> I've never uh, played that good. But, I mean, I was, it was just insane. Like, I was making every almost every putt I had. I was just hitting the ball uh, better than I ever thought I can. And uh, I ended up just birdieing the last five holes right in a row. And uh, the finish after that was just unreal. It, it just felt incredible, like almost unreal. And the highlight, from what I understand, talking to one of your fellow golfers, uh, Marco DeLuca, you sank like a, a 60 or 70-foot uh, birdie. Uh, yeah, I uh, um, that was on number eight. I hit my drive kind of in the tree line a little bit, and I had to hit like a little punch shot, and it just ran up to the front of the green and I had about 60 or 70 feet for birdie and I just made it it was like when it went in I didn't even think it was real I was like oh my gosh this is just crazy best shot of your life there that one probably it's probably up there as one of the best ones yeah well Ryan uh, let's talk about this this course that you're playing this year for Coughlin and then some of the other courses you guys play on the road uh, talk about getting out to different places and uh, some places that you really enjoy playing. Yeah, well, we play Muni, which is always – I've grown up there pretty much. I've uh, been playing there since I was young. I know it very well. And uh, it's not in the best condition, but, I mean, it'll do. And I love the track. Uh, we play Fox Hill, which is another great course, probably one of the nicest around. Um, we play Shadow Brook. Blue Ridge, not this year, but typically we do, which is another good course. Shadowbrook is uh, very similar to Muni, pretty wide open, and I like going up there too. That's, the courses we play are probably some some of my favorites around, honestly. Ryan, what's good right now about your golf game? Um, I would say my, my putting has been almost lights out for like the past two weeks, and uh, when I miss the green, I'll chip it to 10 feet and make it almost like 70 or 80% of the time and it's just saving my score and it's really giving me a lot of momentum to carry it around How about the things that you, you're saying, man, I gotta get better at this uh, talk about that, every golfer has that and sometimes you have it day to day that you're saying that uh, Yeah, yeah, definitely definitely. Uh, where I see I slack a little bit are in my irons I, uh, I gotta get better with those, I think I think once I get really good with those is when I could start scoring better. I mean, uh, obviously I'm pretty happy with the 30, but uh, that's not going to happen every time, so I'm going to try to uh, work on my irons more as the season goes along for the postseason, because uh, when we play the courses or whatnot, hopefully I'll be playing the uh, regional course. I'm going to need my iron work. It's a pretty long course, so I need them to be on. The mental game of golf, Ryan. Uh, talk about how you tackle that and try to stay strong, and you know whether you got to listen to people or block them out, telling you what to do, or how all that stuff works. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's it's ninety percent mental, ten percent physical is what they say, and it's true. Uh, you got to have the mental capacity to keep your head in it, even when you make a double bogey or you make three in a row, because it's just three birdies in a row. You got to keep your head. I mean, you lose your head, your entire round is over. You got to keep it in for all 18. Ryan Keys here on the John Mandola Show as we talk Coughlin Crusaders golf. Um, doing the Treba and then getting ready for pre districts and districts and, and as you say, hopefully regionals and stuff like that. Uh, how do you yeah. approach those? Are you kind of like a little fidgety at night, trying not to get to sleep, or, or do you feel a little more relaxed? Like, hey, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, well, I'm definitely anxious to play them. I mean, I, I love it. I love going out and having the competition and 
having that big stage, but uh, I try not to think about it too much because I don't want to overwork myself, overwork my mind about it. But um, yeah, I'm excited to play them. I, uh, I mean, all the work in the season goes towards that. So that's definitely those are those uh, are my main goals to play well at those. But I mean, you can't get too anxious about it because you'll work yourself up and then it'll go downhill. But yeah, I'm super excited for those. The balancing of the classwork. Uh, talk about being a good student there at Coughlin. Yeah, well, definitely. I, I care about my grades a lot. I mean, uh, it's always grades first before golf, but sometimes I'll, you know, play golf before doing my homework and stuff. But that's not the way it should be, but I do that. Uh, it's not too hard to manage the uh, grades in golf. They have a good, good combo. A relaxing sport uh, golf is and sometimes it could could be anxious uh talk about your family and and how they support you whether in the classroom or on the golf course or or just out there when you're doing your thing yeah yeah definitely my mom and dad are very supportive my dad's at probably 90 percent of my matches he goes almost every one so it's good to have him in there and my mom she makes it when she can and she uh she likes it too so they're both very supportive of me, and I have my little brother. He comes out. He's nine. He watches me sometimes, so it's good having them all there with the support, and it's fun. Future, what does it hold for Ryan Keys? Is golf something you're thinking of doing in uh, college? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I have some uh, like small colleges looking at me now, and I'd love to do it in college. Uh, uh, we have to see where it goes from this season see uh where i can play and what and what college are interested in me but yeah i'm definitely looking to play in college be a student athlete ryan keys uh, playing some great golf at coughlin high school representing district two and uh hoping to move on this year and, and make some uh, some good decisions along the way on the golf course and off and uh, ryan we wish you the very best and uh keep it going man that 30 on nine's very impressive so congratulations thank you very much i appreciate it thank you a talented ryan keys in the classroom and on the course on the john mandola show we're driven by mccarthy tire and automotive centers